Let's go over how to sign up for interviews. What this is, is your formal interview memorandum. You've received this in your acceptance packet. To sign up for an interview, click where it says this link. Once you click this link, it will open a tab in your web browser. In this tab, you will have a Google form. Please enter your name in this format, grade, first name, last name, the primary position you applied for, and a time to be interviewed. Please be sure to only select one of these times. You may also note that you have to sign up for two interviews. One is your formal interview and one is your practical interview. These should be two different time slots. So when you sign up for one of your interviews, be sure that when you sign up for the other one, you don't put the same time. After you sign up for your interview, you will receive an email like this one with the time that you signed up for. You will have the option to RSVP to this event by clicking yes, maybe, or no. My suggestion is that you don't click any of these because once you do, the email will be deleted from your primary inbox and you might lose track of it. If you do lose track of this email or you just simply cannot find it, then the other way to get to it is through Microsoft's Teams. To get to the Teams app, open your Office 365 account online. Then click Teams. Once the Teams app opens, you will have the option to browse through this app by clicking through Activity, Chat, Teams, Calendar, Calls, and Files. What you'll want to select is Calendar. Once you get into Calendar, it will automatically look in the work week format. If your interview is on a work day, then that's fine, you can leave it in this format. But if it's on a weekend, you might want to switch it to week. Once it's in this format, you can then see weekends like Sunday and Saturday. You will then be able to see your interview on your calendar. You can either click join here or you can enter this interview and you can click this link right here to join the meeting. To enter the meeting, you click join now. Once you're in the meeting, you can then adjust your tools by turning on your camera and on your microphone. If you are out of state or do not have a CogCap email address, you will get an email that looks like this sent to the address that you registered with. To join the meeting, you click join Microsoft Teams meeting. Once this opens, you're going to want to select join on the web instead. You will then be asked to enter your name. You will enter your first and last name and turn on your camera and on your microphone to enter the meeting. You will then be let in by the host of the interview. Next, we're going to talk about your drop folder. After you submit your application and you receive the acceptance packet, you will get an email from me that looks like this. What you will do to access your drop folder is you click open. This will open a new tab. What you do now is you enter the email that this was sent to. You then now have access to the folder that you can upload things to. To upload items to your drop folder, look in the upper left hand corner of your screen and click upload. This will give you an option to either upload files or a folder. If you select files, it will give you an option to upload pretty much any type of format. Let's say I want to upload one of my pictures, so I'm going to upload a picture from my computer. You will now see that my picture has been uploaded to the drop folder. This is now a submitted document. What you will want to do now is rename this document so that it has your name on it and it has your submission title. Once you're done renaming, you can then exit out of this tab. You can then access your drop folder again by clicking open as many times as you need to access your drop folder. You will not need to re-enter your email because it will be saved on your web browser. If it asks you to re-enter your email, that will be because you have logged out of your email address within that web browser. If you are out of state or do not have a CogCap email address, you will receive an email to the address that you registered with. This email is very similar to the previous email shown in this video. What you do is you click open. After this, you will need to enter the email address that this folder was shared to. It will ask you to enter a verification code. You then should have an email from no reply at sharepointonline.com. This will have your verification code, and this is different for every user. You then copy this verification code into the place where it asks for it, and you click verify. You then will have access to your drop folder. You can upload files the same way as previously stated in this video.